couple weeks ago, me and you had a, a real father-son moment um, in regards to criticism. <laughs> you know, and I was... Um, it now was that a, that we should have had on tape. Yeah, we, yeah, that's it definitely was live a with a lot of testosterone yeah. and bass voices. Definitely a candid moment. <laughs> but um, it, a lot of things came into mind when we started to have that back and forth, and um, it's definitely something that I feel like people should get some insight on, especially creative people, people who are into the art world. And I just want to know what's your views on criticism because you went to college. You went to a school where most of the grading was like blatant criticism, uh, you know, against your work. And, you know, you, you always have had people give you their two cent, even if you didn't ask for it. Exactly. So um, just, just to um, shed some light on that and just what make the uh, people listening a little more comfortable with criticism. I don't think that people can just get comfortable with criticism. It's just like, you know, I'm a firm believer that artists are, they can't be thin-skinned people, period. I mean, as an artist, going like you said, going to art school, every assignment was critiqued by the whole class, whether they liked you, didn't like you, white, black, Latino, and then the teacher, whether he liked you or didn't like you, and you had to try to find a way to functionally take something away from that without it becoming personal. And I think that's the most important word is criticism and when it becomes personal. So um, criticism is great because it could be the, like a shortcut. If somebody come into my booth and they have a criticism, I have a right to listen to that, assess that, and see how I'm going to apply it, or I could just get an attitude. Now, I'm not going to say I've never gotten an attitude. I think every artist at one point has gotten an attitude off of something somebody said. But, you know, my high school teacher once told me that, that uh, criticism is just an opinion. And so opinions are plentiful. And they're not personal. And so I've taken that with me the majority of my life. Every now and then somebody come up and, and say something that you have to address. But all I can say is criticism is needed to move forward and to grow. As an artist, if you decide you are not open to criticism, you limit the amount of growth that actually takes place in your work. And that's the one thing I know I gained when I was in college with the, the note of criticism. Uh, but it's still just an opinion that's not personal. Um, I think criticism can make you grow as an artist. Um, I think criticism can make you grow as a person. So I just say be open to it. Be open to people's opinions. Because in the end, when you sit down at your easel, you're by yourself in your bubble creating whatever it is you're creating. You have to have some kind of feedback to see if you're connecting to people. And for me, Connecting to people is really what our work is, whether you're a musician, an artist, or a spoken word artist, it's all the same thing. So you have to listen to criticism to know how to attach to people and connect with people. Uh, I think that if you listen to criticism the right way, it can take you other directions. Like somebody will come up to me and say, hey, man, you should do a, a, a Buffalo Soldier. All right, I'm probably not going to do a Buffalo Soldier. But if I had three people come up and ask me to do a Buffalo Soldier, it's a business move at that point for me to investigate whether I should try to do an image of a Buffalo Soldier. Um, I just use it as a, a guideline for me to move forward. And I think every artist needs to, number one, take, stop taking yourself so goddamn seriously. You know, you're not so invincible. You, nobody ever died from rejection or died from hearing something bad about their work, you know. Uh, just don't become argumentative about it. <laughs> I've seen people do that. I've seen people shut down when people come at them with uh, just thoughts. Some people are just curious. The next thing that comes with criticism is people tend to categorize. So if, you get, get, if somebody walks up to you and say, oh, your work looks like Picasso, that's a criticism that you might take harshly and go, wait, wait a minute now. I'm, my work ain't no Picasso. And you take a, a disposition that probably won't be necessary. Um, but you just got to be open and a sponge. I, mean, I always tell people, you got the choice to be that uh, crusty sponge that's on the sink that still gets the job done, or you could be a brand new sponge out of the package. And I want to stay the brand new sponge. Yeah, I think, I think the big thing that comes with criticism with me is uh, the energy that comes with it. 
Because, I mean, you, you, you know, you, you, you shed some light on it. It's like um, if three people come at you about a Buffalo soldier, then maybe you need to investigate and research. But, you know, you, a lot of the times you might avoid uh, a particular group of people's criticism because of the energy that they come with. Like, say, if it's someone that always has negative, pessimistic energy, you might turn them off and they might actually have some valuable criticism for you at that moment. So how, like, what's the best way to really, you know, know when to turn your ear on, you know, because ever so often you, you deal with a significant amount of negativity. You know, your body knows when to shut it down. But you, I think at some point you have to be an open filter. You know, I, I don't say you select what criticism you accept and what criticism you don't and how it's said versus how it's not said. To me, criticism is all the same, whether it's whispered in my ear or screamed in my face. I still have to decide where it fits, does it apply, and whether it's going to help me move to my next step. Is it going to improve my perspective on whatever I'm working on? Because people come with different energy. A hater's going to criticize you. and what, Somebody that loves you and a hater both will criticize, but the big thing is why are you taking one personal and you don't take the other one personal? You know, to me, that line of when you take it personal. I think that when you're talking about energy, once you let somebody affect you that way, you give them way too much power. So it's just an opinion. Put it in the right lane. Stop taking yourself so seriously. And most of all, don't try to come up with a bullshit reason why you did X, Y, or Z. Because that just keeps it going and it's not, it's not functional. You know, we're in a critical world where everybody's got an opinion about everything. And if right now, if you look at social network, you see what I mean. Everybody's wide open with what they feel, believe, and everything else. So get over yourself. It's just an opinion. We're real till the red light is on. We go take our faces off Like two clowns in a sideshow Love is like two